Hey everybody, my name is Brendan Noble and I'm a young adult author. What This Slavic Saturday kind of turned into Slavic Sunday because I've been out of town yesterday with a wedding um, and I figured that it would be better to film it here than uh, in a hotel room somewhere. So a little bit of a delay, but we're back with kind of a more normal Slavic Saturday thing since I'll be talking about another demon today, which is the Utopiak or the Topialik, depending on which language you're looking at it. It's kind of a well-known demon. Um, it shows up both. It's going to show up in my first book, which uh, a little bit of plug for that. Uh, if you go on my the link below in the comments, I will have a link for my newsletter. And you can join that. I'll be revealing the name for that first book tomorrow, actually, to my newsletter subscribers first. So if you want to be one of the first people to learn the name of my upcoming book, go on and click up my newsletter, which will be just a monthly newsletter. It's not going to spam your email box. Um, but the creature does show up in there, and it's also a well-known demon because it shows up in the Witcher series. And if you play the Witcher video games, you're very much familiar with this creature as the Drowner because they show up all the time. And that's kind of an interesting thing because there's a ton of different demons within Slavic mythology that take place in waters or specifically the swamps. So a list of some of these, this is not even far from comprehensive because there's so many of them, but some popular ones are the Vodnoyoy or the Vodnik, the Rosalka or the Ros yeah, Rosalki, depending on which language you're looking at there, the Bolotnik, the Bojinka or Dishivojana <laughs> in Polish. I'm not great at Polish, sorry. Um, and then um, the Utopiak again is on that list as well. And so there's a lot of these swamp demons that show up in Slavic cultures, sometimes within the same country and in different contexts, which is why this is kind of interesting. I'll talk about some of those other demons later, but it shows kind of how dangerous the swamps really were considered for a lot of Slavic people. They lived in the wilds, they often lived in the lowlands, lowlands near the rivers and swamps, but it showed that they didn't really want to go there because it was considered dangerous. The Utopiak was one of the demons that it was considered you'd become this demon if you drowned in the swamp and it would then try to drown other people in the swamp so they suffered the same kind of demise that they did. And again, so it's, it's kind of meant to show how dangerous these swamplands really could be. And I think because there's so many of them in a lot of the lowlands, that the fact that the Topiak also isn't the only demon that came through Slavic myth with the swamps shows that it's something you gotta look out for. And it was so many stories coming through with this danger that it's something to consider. So while many demons or creatures in Slavic myth are often female, the Utopiak is one of the ones that is predominantly male. I think it may be entirely male. It's hard to know for certain. Um, but it is, again, someone that drowned in the swamp that is trying, that will then try to drown other people in the swamp. They kind of end up as a kind of, what you would see is almost like a half lizard man, half human, like kind of like a mix there where it's got a really reptile reptilian traits on top of people um and really slimy skin they're really good at swimming in the swamps uh, to take advantage of not being able to drown now and you can see them with really kind of foggy bulging eyes and mangled black hair if they have any hair at all again if you've played the witcher video games or seen uh, or read the books you'll understand what they kind of look like, but they kind of, they, 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 they look like kind of a classic, like also a mix of a zombie with some reptilian traits to it. It's kind of a weird, interesting creature there. And they have claws, but largely what they're going to try to do is drag the people underwater. So even if you manage to fight them above land, good luck because they had, they can swim much better than we can. And because there's so many of those other demons as well, you'd think maybe there's some, what's the differences between them? The Utopiak is almost always, well, always, I've never seen a story in which the Utopiak isn't friendly at all. They are almost always attacking the people. They're never benevolent like some of the other creatures can be under certain cases. Their entire job is to try to attack and kill people. 
So don't mess with them and don't go under the water if you do see them. And because uh, then this, some of this has come through as when I write my first, when writing this first book in the series, the Utopiac is one of the creatures that will show up. So you have to look out for it. But because the town of Devi Rizaki, which stands for two rivers, is um, the home the home village of Vaklav and Otilia, who are the protagonists in the book. And it's in the lowlands and there's swamplands around it. And so inevitably, if they're going adventuring into the wilds a little bit, they're going to run into creatures like this. And the creatures like this are going to try to punish them. And so it's a very interesting fight in which you guys will have to check out when it comes out. And again, uh, please look out for my newsletter and joining it and below so you can learn out more about the books, be able to learn about the name of the books as well as um, some uh, early insights into some of the story. Um, I can't say too much more right now because it's still in process, but you can check that out. And again, always if you enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe down below. Coming out with them hopefully again every Saturday to keep more consistency with it instead of Sundays. So, uh, see, you all, see all of you guys next week when we talk about more things in Slavic mythology.